Welcome friends. In this video, we are going to learn about general wave equations. First, what is wave? Wave means transporting energy or information from source to destination. The wave consisting electric and magnetic fields are called electromagnetic waves. In general, the wave is a function of time and space. Examples of electromagnetic waves are radio waves, light rays, radar beams, television signals, etc. The electromagnetic waves travel from source into surrounding media. The media can be divided into two categories that is lossless media and lossy media. So here we are going to discuss about general wave equation. So in general the wave equation can be obtained by relating the space and time variations of the electric and magnetic field using Maxwell equations. So normally to derive the wave equation we are using Maxwell equations. There are four Maxwell equations. Here we are using two Maxwell equations. So one Maxwell equations that is derived from Faraday's law. This Maxwell first equation that is derived from Faraday's law expressed in point form or this is differential form. So second one is that second this equation is derived from Ampere's circuital law. So using these two Maxwell equations we are going to find electric field general wave equation for electric field and magnetic field first i am going to derive general wave equation for electric field so first i am going to derive general wave equation for electric field so to derive electric field i am taking equation number one that is derived from faraday's law that is del cross E vector is equal to minus mu dou h vector divided by dou t. If you see this equation here, this is the electric field, this is magnetic field. E is electric field, h is magnetic field. So eliminate this h vector from this equation. We are taking curl on both sides of the equation number 1. In equation number 1, we are going to take curl function on both sides. So curl function means we are you see del cross so this is del operator del cross del cross e is equal to minus mu del cross dou h vector divided by dou t so here there are two operators one is del and another one is dou by dou t this del operator it, it is differentiation with respect to space so dou by dou t, dou t means this is the differentiation with respect to time. So these two operators are independent to each other. So del operator and dou by dou t operator are independent each other. So we can interchange the operators, the order of operators. So sec, if you see this equation del cross, del cross E is equal to minus mu i am interchanging this operators that is del cross dou by dou t here i am interchange dou by dou t into del cross h vector because this is differentiation with respect to space del operator then dou by dou t means differentiation with respect to time both are independent to each other so we can interchange the operators so if we interchange the operator we get like this so i am taking this is equation number 3 then substitute this second equation. If you see the second equation, that is Maxwell equation from Faraday's ambient circuital law, that is del cross h vector is equal to this value. Sigma e vector plus epsilon dou e vector divided by dou t. I am substituting this equation number 2 in this equation number 3. So if I substituting this equation, we will get like this. So then I am going to multiply inside. That is minus mu dou by dou t. That is sigma minus mu dou. Uh, sorry. Minus mu dou e by dou t minus mu epsilon 
dou square e divided by dou t square. Taking this is equation number 4. Next, vector identity. So, we know vector identity. So, we are taking this vector identity formula that is del cross del cross e vector is equal to del of del e vector minus del square e vector. So, here we know divergence of any vector is equal to 0. So, divergence means del dot. So, divergence of any vector is equal to 0. So, substituting this value in this equation, we will get like this. That is del cross del cross e vector is equal to minus del square e vector. Substituting this value in equation number in this equation. So, that is del cross del cross e vector. So, here we are going to substitute that value, vector identity value that is minus del square e. So, we will get minus del square e vector is equal to minus mu sigma dou e vector divided by dou t minus mu epsilon dou square e vector divided by dou t square. If you are multiplying by minus on both sides, we will get like this. This is the wave equation for electric field E. So, I'll, we get the wave equation for electric field. Now, I am going to multiply epsilon on both sides. So, both sides, if you are uh, multiplying by epsilon means we will get that is del square epsilon E vector is equal to like this. So, here we know that is electric flux density is equal to epsilon into E. So, here in epsilon E we are going to substitute D vector that is electric flux density. So, this is the wave equation for D in uniform medium. So, this is the electric wave equation for electric field. So, next we are going to derive general wave equation for magnetic field. So, this is general wave equation for magnetic field. magnetic field. So, here I am taking the Maxwell second equation that is this equation del cross H vector is equal to sigma E vector plus epsilon dou E vector divided by dou T. So, here H vector in, in this side H vector here the electric field. So, here we are going to eliminate electric field from equation number 2. We are going to take curl on both sides of equation number 2. So, curl operation means del cross. Del cross, del cross H is equal to del cross sigma E vector plus epsilon dou by dou T into del cross E. So, equation number 1 we know that is Maxwell equation using Faraday's law that is del cross E vector is equal to minus mu dou H vector divided by dou T. Substitute this value in this equation. So, if you are... So, del cross E. So, here del cross E value. Here on del cross E value. Substitute this value in above equation. We will get like this. That is del cross. Del cross H vector is equal to sigma minus mu dou H divided by dou T plus epsilon dou by dou T minus mu dou H by dou T. So, if we are rearranging the term, we will get like this equation. So, next we are taking the vector identity. So, we know vector identity for del cross, del cross h vector is equal to del of del dot h vector minus del square h vector. So, here divergence of any vector is equal to 0. Divergence means del dot h vector, any vector is equal to 0. Substituting this value in this equation, we will get like this. So, substitute this value in above equation, that is equation number 8. So, we will get minus del square h vector is equal to minus mu sigma dou h divided by dou t minus epsilon mu dou square h vector divided by dou t square. If you are multiplying by minus on both sides, we will get the wave equation for magnetic field. This is the wave equation for magnetic field. So, next we are multiplying mu on both sides. 
both sides we are going to multiply by mu we will get like this so we know that is magnetic flux density b is equal to mu h here substitute mu h we are going to substitute b vector so del square b vector is equal to mu sigma dou b vector divided by dou t plus mu epsilon dou square b vector divided by dou t square this is the wave equation for magnetic flux density in the uniform medium so this is the wave general wave equation for electric and magnetic field thank you friends